Now, with Kim Jong-un to become the first North Korean leader to cross the border into South Korea tomorrow, Seoul is said that Mr. Kim will be met there with a guard of honor from the South Korean armed forces. Our Park Ji-won tells us more. South Korea's defense ministry announced Wednesday evening that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will be presented with a guard of honor from the three branches of South Korea's military when he crosses the border to the South Korean side of Panmunjom. The confined space at Panmunjom means that a full 300-member guard of honor is impossible, so the size of the guard of honor will be reduced to about 150 members. The Defense Ministry says that forming the Guard of Honor means to show the South Korean government's support for regaining mutual support and reconciliation between the two Koreas, promoting peace on the Korean Peninsula, and also hoping for the success of the third inter-Korean summit. When former South Korean presidents Kim Dae-jung and Noh Moo-hyun each arrived in Pyongyang for the previous inter-Korean summit talks in 2000 and 2007 respectively, North Korean soldiers formed a guard of honor and saluted the former presidents. Meanwhile, as the summit approaches, South Korea and the U.S. have decided to wrap up the first part of their two-part computer-simulated joint military drill key result by Thursday. The remaining second of the exercise will begin from Monday. The Defense Ministry said the military will give its utmost support to ensure a stable inter-Korean summit on Friday. Full legal, another annual joint military drill between South Korea and the U.S., which kicked off on the first day of this month, will also be completed by Thursday. A military official told Arirang News Thursday afternoon that although the full legal exercise is formally slated to continue for the whole month of April, specific operations of the exercise will actually all be completed by Thursday. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.